There's Molly and Max and Susie and Flash and the elegant Countess de Cone. They travel the world, but they seldom go out. Well, how can this be? You're about to find out. Stay for some tea, meet the whole family. You're certain to find them at home. There's a shooting star, Max. And there's another one. Molly, why are you and Max up so late? You've got an early morning start toothbrushing tomorrow. We're counting shooting stars, Flash. Oh, how many have you counted? Oh, lots. That many, eh? There's one. Don't forget to add that one on too. Oh, Flash, where do all the shooting stars go when they fall out of the sky? Well, obviously, they... I haven't got the faintest idea. But I think we're about to find out. Why? Well, a shooting star is heading right towards us. <laughs> ah! Wow! Come on, Max. I've never seen a shooting star close up before. Well, it should be easy to find. We'll just follow that trail of stardust. But we've got to be cautious. We don't know anything about shooting stars. They could be highly dangerous. Oh, oh hey, quit stepping on me, Flash. You're supposed to be sleeping, not walking. Oh, sorry, Susie. We, we saw a shooting star. It zoomed right into this bathroom. We had to duck. Oh, oh, our very own shooting star. It's in the sink. Quiet, everyone. It's beautiful, but it's so small. Mm, and very scared. Oh, and very fast. It's in the medicine cabinet. Now, absolutely quiet. We don't want to frighten it again. Oops. Quick, Flash, it's in the bath. Wow. Oh, there it goes again. I haven't even seen it properly yet. It's not as bright as it was. Uh, why is that? It's in the toothbrush house. Now, really quiet this time. It might be our last chance to see it. It could swoosh back out of the window at any moment. Oh, the shooting star looks so sad. Shh! Wow! Oh no, it's getting away! shining at all now? There's the answer to your question, Molly. Now we know what happens to shooting stars when they fall out of the sky. They just fade away. Oh, we can't let that happen, Flash. Can't we help it back up to the stars where it belongs? Oh, it's a long way up. What about a ladder? Oh, no ladder would reach that far. I mean, we haven't got a ladder anyway. Oh, well, I wonder what the Countess has got. A shooting star, eh? We used to have a lot of shooting stars in this bathroom in the old days. They fade away to nothing, you know, if you don't get them back among the stars where they belong. Mm, we know. Oh, but how can we get it back among the stars, Countess? I wonder what I've got. I've got a lead weight. That's no help. An air puffer might come in handy. Now all we need is a leftover party balloon. Oh, we haven't got a leftover party balloon. You mightn't, Flash, but I might. You'd be surprised what I've got in my drawer. Blow that up with the air puffer and I'll see what else I can find. <coughs> That's it, you brushes. You don't find. Oh, <coughs> Here's some dental floss. Now you're all set. Just loop it around the shooting star and it will be back among the stars in no time. Hooray! Right, little shooting star, back to the stars you go. Oh, I hope the little shooting star will be all right, Flash. Oh, I'm sure it will, Molly. Look. Oh. There's Molly and Max and Susie and Flash and the elegant Countess de Cone. They travel the world, but they seldom go out. Well, how can this be? You're about to find out. Stay for some tea, meet the whole family. You're certain to find them at home. Beach 
bucket full of sand. A spilt beach bucket. But there's enough sand to build a sand castle. Oh, and I've always wanted to play in the sand. A real beach? Hmm. Flesh is right. Good. Then let's go to the beach. Yahoo! Look, Flesh. Max has built his first sand castle. Ah, oh, this is the life, Susie. Lying on the beach with nothing to do the whole day long. Ooh, it's a little windy, Flash. Ah, a sea breeze. More like a sand breeze. Oh, oh, oh looks like we're in for a sandstorm. Oh, hold on to your hands. Oh, oh, <laughs> that was some sandstorm. Where's Max? He's okay, but I can't see Susie's sponge because of that sand dune. Oh, I am the sand dune. <coughs> there you are, Max. That sandstorm certainly ruined our day at the beach. I'm all covered in sand. We'll head for the sink and have a swim. That'll get the sand off. Which way's the sink? Well, I think it's... <laughs> oh, now perhaps it's the... Hmm, looks like the sandstorm turned our beach into a desert. Can't be too far to the sink. Come on! Flash! Max is exhausted! We're in the middle of the desert. We've lost our way and we haven't got any water. Susie, have you got any water left? I'm nearly dried out. If we don't find some water soon, we're finished. <gasps> Max sees water! Oh, good, I'm thirsty. <coughs> oh, there's no water. Max is seeing things. It's a mirage. It always happens in the desert. Sorry, Max. It's only a mirage. We've got to get out of this desert. Uh, Max can see a camel. <gasps> and so can I! <laughs> now we're all seeing things. It's another mirage. Now Max is on the camel. Correction, Molly. He thinks he is, but we know better. But it might get us out of the desert. Come on, Molly. <laughs> You all look so silly sitting on that mirage. Quick, Flash, it is a camel and it's leading us out of the desert. You'll be left behind. Huh? <gasps> hey, camel, wait for me. <laughs> Made it. The camel stopped. I didn't even get a ride. I hear a trip. Oh, that must be a mirage too. Mirages don't make noises, Flash. Listen, came from over there. Here's the drip. It's coming from that tap. I know that tap. It's the bathroom tap. The sink is just up there over that sand dune. We're almost home. Come on, camel. One sand dune to go. There's our sink. Watch it. It might be another mirage. If it is, it's a very wet mirage. Oh, I think we're home. Thank you, Camel. You got us out of the desert. The desert doesn't look much of a desert from here, Flash. It certainly doesn't, Molly. It's hard to believe we got lost down there. Perhaps it was all just a mirage. Perhaps it was. But it was lots of fun. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> There's Molly and Max. And Susie and Flash and the elegant Countess de Cone. They travel the world, but they seldom go out. Well, how can this be? You're about to find out. Stay for some tea, meet the whole family. You're certain to find them at home. Look! There's a yellow butterfly, Max. And there's an orange butterfly. I saw a silver one. Must be the butterfly season. Butterflies come from flash? Now that's a very interesting question. Evidently, you catch a fly, smear it with butter, and presto, you have a butterfly. I guess you could be right, Max. 
Hey, something just scared the butterflies away. Would a big hairy caterpillar scare away butterflies, Flash? Ah! It's trying to come inside. Keep quiet. Stay back. Let's see what it's up to. What is it up to, Flash? It's having lunch. Is that good? Bad. Very bad. Why? It's still hungry and it's heading this way. Run! <laughs> what are you all so excited about? We're being chased by a big hairy caterpillar, Susie. <laughs> And it's still hungry. I can't see any big hairy caterpillar. It was here before. I wonder where it's gone. Max thinks it's crawled into the drawer, Flash. Which drawer? Ah! Oh, there's a caterpillar in my drawer! We're safe now. Not even an extremely hungry big hairy caterpillar can get us now. Oh, I think... Lunch for a big hairy caterpillar. We've got to frighten it away somehow. Shoo! Shoo! Go away! Go away! Shoo! Hey! What do you know? It worked. Oh, now it's heading into the toothbrush house. Oh, it must want a nap. Look. It's making itself a sleeping bag. That's not a sleeping bag, Flash. It's a cocoon. And once it's inside, that caterpillar's staying put for quite a while. Oh, but if the caterpillar's staying in the toothbrush house, where will we stay? Comfortable? Certainly not. The glass is too cold and too hard. Oh, why is the big hairy caterpillar staying in our house, Flash? And how long is it going to stay there? We'll just have to wait and see. <sighs> Thank goodness it's morning. Look, Max. I think the caterpillar is on the move. Quick! <laughs> Quick! Quick, hurry, grab your suitcases. We're leaving the bathroom. Now the caterpillar is bound to be very hungry. Susie! I'm ready. I'm going to miss this bathroom. That's funny, Flash. It doesn't look like a caterpillar. Well, you don't know caterpillars. But it's got wings and it's brightly coloured. It's a so that's where butterflies come from. They come from caterpillars. Well, I'll be. Good. Now we don't have to leave the bathroom. <sighs> Flash said butterflies were flies covered in coloured butter. Well, I, I must have misheard. I know where caterpillars come from, Bo. Where from? You get a cat. You wrap it in a pillow and presto, you have a caterpillar. Oh, Flash! <laughs> There's Molly and Max and Susie and Flash and the elegant Countess de Combe. They travel the world, but they seldom go out. Well, how can this be? You're about to find out. Stay for some tea, meet the whole family. You're certain to find them at home. Why can't we go with you, Flash? Because this is my day off, and I want to spend it quietly, all by myself. What about us? Well, the Countess de Combe has offered to look after you today. We won't have any fun with her. She's too old. Too old? What a pity. I was going to show you my treasures. What treasures? The treasures I keep in the back of my drawer. The treasures in the back of the drawer? Perhaps you're right, Flash. You do deserve a day off all by yourself. Well, I'll be. It's OK, Flash. I'll look after them, even though I'm too old. All my 
treasures are back here. Now be careful. Don't step on old Madame Lafarge's false teeth. This is a stamp. Look, Max, our first stamp. And this is the silver music box. That's not much of a treasure. Once it was the talk of the bathroom. The music alone was simply divine. Ooh! And when you lifted the lid, a pretty ballerina danced a charming pas de deux. Open the lid, please, Countess. We want to see too. She doesn't dance so well these days. We still want to see. So oh, beautiful, but she looks so sad. She's never been the same since she lost her dancing partner. They used to dance so well together before he got broken and lost. Come on, Max. The Countess wants to show us her coin collection next. Did you catch anything, Flash? No, but I had a nice quiet think. It's the best day off I've had since, let's see, my last day off. The Countess showed us all her treasures, even a music box. Her drawer is just like a museum. Where's Max? It's nearly toothbrushing time. He must still be with the Countess. He's not with me. I thought he was with you. Now I think about it, I haven't seen him all afternoon. Oh, no! I've lost Max. I promised to take good care of him, and now he's got lost. It's not your fault, Countess. He can't have gone far. We'll organise a search party. Let's fan out. He could be in the medicine cabinet. He could be on the floor. He could be anywhere, Flash. Who saw him last? I think I did, Susie. Uh, it was in the drawer by the music box. Then perhaps we should start there. There might be a trail. I should never have taken my eyes off Max. Well, perhaps he fell asleep somewhere. This is where I saw him last. He was looking at the silver music box. That's funny. There were some clothes here, and now they're missing. Perhaps we should have a closer look at that music box. <gasps> for looking after us, Countess. We had a wonderful time. Do drop in any time you like. And next time I promise to keep my eye on you, and especially on Max. Where's Max? Oh, no! I've lost him again! You don't suppose Max has fallen for that ballerina? I think he's fallen all right, but not for the ballerina. What do you mean? He's fallen for tap dancing. <laughs>